All right, man, peace. So, brothers, you know, to be quite frank with you, the story of Mr. Steve Francis, formerly of the Houston Rockets, is a cautionary tale. He truly is a brother that was born about 10 to 14 years too early. Because had he been born 10 to 14 years later, he'd be one of the star point guards in the NBA in an era of star point guards. He just happened to play in an era in the early 2000s where the game was extremely physical and not as guard oriented as it is today. He had a series of psychological issues. Number one, he was overly worshipful of his mother. And when she passed away, it started a mental decline that he has not been able to recover from. As most people know, he has a severe problem with alcoholism. He also allegedly had a homosexual relationship with his backcourt mate, Katino Mobley. That's pretty much an open secret. Cats know about that for a very long time. Allegedly. But it is what it is. Let's just see what's going on with his life right now. They're going to talk about it. I'm going to chime in. More trouble for ex-NBA All-Star Steve Francis, uh, who was arrested late last night on a charge of public intoxication, man. Things seem to get worse for this guy. He's been in a lot of trouble lately, and this is another incident of that. Yeah, last night, Steve Francis, man, was hanging out at a hotel in Burbank, and police were called. There was some type of disturbance at the hotel bar, Burbank PD. Sometimes you can look at a person's face, and you could tell the problems that they have, whether it be drugs or alcohol. Alcohol is a very serious issue that a lot of brothers have in the, in the so-called black community. Why is that? Because it's used to help people forget about their problems. That's why I speak about things like weed, and I don't touch on alcoholism as much or the use of alcohol as much, but that also is very insidious in the so-called black community. It's something that the so-called black man uses a lot to try to forget his problems, but you have to understand once you sober up or once you come down off that high, the problems will still exist. And this is why I highlighted in the intro for this video that the brother had an inordinate amount of affection for his mother. You're supposed to love and honor your mother, not worship her. Because God forbid the Lord could take her tomorrow and then what? You can't have a mental collapse because the Lord takes your mother or your father and you're a grown man. You have to constantly be preparing yourself for that transitional period in your life where the Lord takes your parents back to the spirit world. That is a part of the life experience. Unfortunately, this brother Steve Francis, he had no one to inform him of that. And oftentimes it's because many so-called black men as young boys are raised to worship their mothers. We live in a society where the feminine principle is venerated. And unfortunately, in a condition like the so-called black man is in, where he pretty much is made to not matter. He's not reckoned in this society. The only person that he can count on oftentimes is his mother. And that's a dynamic that the so-called black man is going to have to address and change. How do you do that? By making sure that you're very careful about the woman that you have a child with. So that as your children are raised up, it's both you and her there and the balance is implemented in the mind of the child so that he or she does not become overly dependent or overly worshipful of the woman. When you have that balance there, it stops the child from becoming overly dependent or overly worshipful on just one parental aspect. That's why I harp on these things, brothers, and, and also it's going to keep you out of where? The court system and out of jail, man. That's where the mindset has to be. That's why this brother Steve Francis has the problems that he has. Or well, it's one of the reasons why. PD responds. They see, uh, they see Steve there, uh, allegedly drunk with another man. Both guys are arrested, hauled off to jail. They were eventually released around 7 a.m. this morning. But just more trouble. It was just earlier this month that Steve Francis finally, for the first time, addressed some perceived issues that he had with substances. He said that he had never done drugs before. Because that he, was a widely held right. sort of notion that right. Steve his, Francis had a drug his problem. His appearance had changed over the years he really looked bad for for a little bit uh, so he said no to drugs but he did admit that he had an alcohol problem well it's very obvious that he had an alcohol problem drunkenness is an issue as i stated amongst so-called black men one that oftentimes people don't want to address because alcohol is legal so it's very difficult to inform someone or to speak to someone or communicate with them 
that the problems that they have with the bottle are affecting themselves and those around them, especially for brothers who have children. You should put the bottle down, man. Just being real. Put the bottle down. Me personally, I don't drink unless I'm in a social setting, and that's normally maybe a glass of wine or something like that. I might have, you know, something hard, but that's that's like twice a year, man. Me personally, I don't need substances. I get high off life. I get high off of information. I don't need. That's just me. But I, I wasn't raised in that environment where I saw people using drugs or overdoing it with the alcohol. A lot of times we are a product of our environment. That's why, once again, brothers, you are the one that is going to stipulate a lot of what your child finds acceptable as they grow up. So you have to understand that before you have a child, man. That's why I always harp on that. I cannot stress that enough. We cannot always be going back and forth with the so-called white man or about the police force. And supposedly that's the reason why so-called black people are the recipients of all of this negativity the main negativity that the so-called black man needs to address is the negativity not even with the next black man but within himself once we address the issues within ourselves everything else is going to flow much easier so this brother here steve francis he needs help he's needed help for a very long time thankfully for him he still seems to have some of the monetary resources that he was able to accumulate while playing basketball for those of you who don't remember he was a standout athlete and performer for his time in the NBA. And if he was playing today in a more wide open era, he would be dominant. This dude was before Russell Westbrook. And he was on the short list of most athletic point guards ever. Go look back at the legendary dunk contest with Vince Carter and Tracy McGrady. Steve Francis had the most dominant performance in that slam dunk, aside, of course, from Mr. Vince Carter. In almost any other slam dunk contest, he would have won. He was a great athlete, and him and Catino Mobley formed a very good backcourt for that era. But once again, in that era, it was so physical that it was very difficult for a point guard to truly dominate. Unless you were just transcendent like an Allen Iverson or someone like that, or a game changer like a Jason Kidd or a Steve Nash, who were just so cerebral that they were able to be two, three steps ahead of everyone on the court. Steve Francis did not have that level of cognitive function or mental acumen. But he was a standout. And in today's era, he would have been much more dominant. Unfortunately for him, you know, we can only live in the real world. So it is what it is. But once again, brothers, you love your mother. You honor her. You respect her. You cherish her. But you do not worship her. You cannot worship anything in the flesh because it can be taken away tomorrow. And if you don't understand that, then you can end up like Mr. Steve Francis having to hide his frustrations with life in the bottle. The bottle's not going to help you. Um, and now last night this thing happens with the public. Like, even here though, we've, we've seen the evidence of sort of the dollar spiral that he's been on. If you remember, uh, back in 2016, he was arrested for drunk driving and we got video of him in the back of the police car absolutely cursing out the police, calling them all kinds of stuff under the sun. Check that out. Yeah, I mean, that in and of its own, what are you laughing No, I'm not laughing. Look, it's, at, it's a terrible look, but like I said, when when he wrote this whole long article, I but thought he... In the Players' Tribune, we In the Players' Tribune, right. He addressed all this, and he said, I had a problem with alcohol, and I lost my identity. So I guess when someone confronts their problems like that, you think they've moved past them. But then, a week, two weeks later, to get arrested again for being drunk in a hotel and, and, and seemingly acting like an idiot somewhere, it's just like... He, he hasn't moved on. He's still facing these problems. Well, his, his problem is not truly alcoholism. The alcoholism is a way for him to try to smother what his real problems are, which is the fact that he is, he's had a hard time getting over the loss of his mother and also a possible issue with his sexual identity, which oftentimes will lead to depression and substance abuse. We see it with Mr. Aaron Hernandez. We've seen it with others. But Aaron Hernandez, that's an issue for another video. I touched on that in the original video that I did right after he was sacrificed. 
Yeah, it definitely seems like there's still some issues there. Uh, we say this all the time when we run into situations like that with athletes or with people that you know we, we looked up to or whatever. Yeah. You, you really hope that Steve Francis can do whatever is needed uh, to sort of address people, this. Yeah, people love Steve Francis. We were watching highlights earlier, man, and yeah. the guy was a high flyer. He, he was a part of so many spectacular plays. He's a guy who's like a normal-sized dude. He's not LeBron, like, carved out of stone. People could relate to Steve Francis. Yeah. And to see him just, to see his life really out of control is really sad, and, and it's scary. Normal size. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily call it sad or scary. I just think that the brother needs help. We all have moments of weakness in our lives where we need help. And it's just a part of life, man. In the flesh, you're going to be prone to weakness. All he needs to do is face the fact that whatever issues that he has can be rectified. There's a solution for every problem, believe it or not. You just have to put the bottle down so that your brain can function to its utmost capacity and then go about trying to solve those issues. Maybe he went through a period in life where he was associating with the wrong people. Maybe he went through an issue or a period through life where he was not sure who he was as a person. That's why I touched on the sexual identity issue that I believe that he may have, which oftentimes with many of these athletes, they manifest through depression, through acting out violently, through drug use, alcoholism, so on and so forth. And who knows? You never know the type of childhood that many of these people were forced to endure. Some of them, some of them were victims of child molestation. And it's embarrassing for them to want to have to admit or acknowledge that. I'm not saying necessarily Steve Francis, but you never know. I did a, I did a review on that sentiment many months ago in regards to the film Antoine Fisher. And when you watch that film, you saw that same issue. The brother was acting out violently. He had trouble with women, all because he was still dealing with how he was molested. Now, he, as a young boy, the character, was molested by a female. But that can also be just as insidious. Oftentimes, you'll see brothers on the Internet. There'll be a story about a teacher who was molesting a, a eight-year-old boy or nine-year-old boy in school. They'll say, oh, well, I wish that was me. Well, you should be happy that it wasn't you. Because there's a reason why we go through phases in life. There's a reason why you have something called sexual maturation, puberty. A little boy, eight, nine years old, is not supposed to be in sexual situations with a grown female or any female for that matter. He's still trying to figure out life. Some of these motherfuckers out here, 25, 26 years old, <laughs> don't need to be with no damn woman. Because, because it blows their mind. Much less a, a little boy, eight, nine years old. Uh, he's 6'2", 225. He's not 6'8", and 260. Yeah, he's somewhat, off. he's almost normal size. Uh, anyway, <laughs> here's, the, here's the hoping that Steve Francis, uh, we're going to have more about this story, but here's the hoping that Steve Francis yeah. uh, can figure something out and get the help that he needs. I agree. I hope that Steve Francis is able to get the help that he needs. But anyway, please remember, some of you brothers out there who may be going through situations where you feel like you can't control your substance abuse, whether it be with the bottle or with drugs, or if you're around family members that cannot control their issues with the bottle. You, you either are going to have to communicate with them, pretend to what their problems are, and if they're not receptive, you may have to move and go to a place where you can attain to some form of calm, peacefulness, and placidity. Because the only way that you can develop your brain is in a peaceful and calm environment. The brain cannot be developed in a chaotic environment. But anyway, peace.